of how the first unit of prayer looks like. So everything that we have covered so far, you can see on the screen here, what I will do is I will also put it in the video description. And each episode also has it in its description or comment, uh, transliteration that you can copy paste in your own notes. And um, yeah, perhaps at the end we'll provide like a document. Well, you have it in the picture format in, in the PDF that I've linked and maybe we'll provide like a text document or something like that, or a screenshot that you can uh, use on your phone. Um, yeah, so this is something that I'll put it in the description so you can use it however you like it. And then you can also edit it. So if you want to use its different letter or syllable to help you with the pronunciation, you can do that. Okay, so now we'll take a look at what uh, a unit of prayer looks like. So let me just make it full screen. Okay, so this is the PDF that we have been using. Uh, that's also, I will link it in this video and it's also linked earlier. So here, um, okay, so this is, you know, it contains how you clean yourself and so on and so forth. Now here is basically you start with Allahu Akbar. So that's what we did in the first episode. Uh, then you, you know, seek refuge in Allah, seek protection in Allah. We did that. Okay, now here is the first chapter of Quran. So this is something that we haven't covered yet. Now, going forward, we'll start covering this. So as you can see, these are only seven lines in general. We'll start covering this. So far, we haven't covered it. What well, we have said that in the meantime, what you can do is you can do this, right? So this is the comprehensive remembrance that we did. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar, wa la hawla, wa la quwwata illa billah. So you can say this once, several times, you know, instead of, uh, this until we get there. But if you are able to read it from there, you can also do that. Okay. So this is what we had so far. And then we said that, okay, um, this is how you would go. You say Allahu Akbar, you would go in bowing. And then we covered what you say in the bowing position. Then what you say when you're rising up from bowing. And uh, what do you say when you are standing in the, you know, as you risen up from the bowing and then you're standing, this is what you say. And then you say, Allahu Akbar, and then you go to the prostration. Uh, this explains, you know, that, and again, any physical thing that you're not able to do, do as much of it as you are able to, right? So as you can see this position, your toes, your knees, uh, your palms, uh, your forehead, your nose is touching the ground. And this is what you say in this position. Then you sit up by saying Allahu Akbar. And while you're sitting, you say this uh, twice or thrice, we covered that. Then you say Allahu Akbar and you go and perform your prostration again and you say the same thing in the prostration. So now, basically what this has done is it has completed the first unit. So it, the unit is also called Raka in Arabic. This comes from the word Ruku, which is bowing. So in each unit, you have one bowing. So that's, you know, where it comes from. But again, you can call it a unit, you can call it a raka. If you understand, you know, the workout mentality, you can call it a wrap. So this is a wrap. Each prayer is built of a number of wraps that we will take a look at now. Okay, so as we go, and this is stuff that we will learn later, right? So now this is basically, again, you know, this is what they have said that, look, when you're saying, when you're sitting in that position as it covers, then you would say this thing until you learn this. So this is something that we'll cover later on in the series. So I hope that's clear. When do we say this thing? Is after your second rep. Okay, you are sitting down, you will say this, which is number 13, instead of 13 advance. Okay, I hope that's clear. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Look, So the morning prayer, which is called Fajr, has two units. So we have covered one, then you'll stand up and you'll perform the second one, and then you will come perform the step of completing the prayer. Okay, the completing the prayer, as it says, follow steps on page 28, is this, right? So as you're sitting, oh, sorry, 28, right? So let me show you that actually. Whenever it says completing a prayer, you go to page 28 right here. But because you don't know this thing, so you will only, again, say this thing. Whenever you don't know something, you say this for now, okay? All right, so how many units are there in the Fajr, the morning prayer? Two. Then you have the Dhuhr, 
which is the, sec the afternoon prayer, usually around 12.30 or 1.30, depending on the time zone. Then you have Asr, usually around 5 or so, or 3, depending on the season as well. And then you have the night prayer, which is Aisha. So these are all four units. So first unit, second unit, then it says, you know, steps for third unit, fourth unit, and then you complete the prayer. For Maghrib, which is a sunset prayer, is three units. Okay, so one, two, three. So if you want to remember, two, two, sorry, two, four, four, three, four. So two for the morning, four for the afternoon, four again for the afternoon, three for the sunset, and four for the ending, the night prayer, okay? So I hope that makes sense. And now we will go from the next part, uh, we will go to the, the first chapter of Quran, uh, which is what you recite when you're standing up. We'll start looking at that. So I hope that was beneficial. Until next time, Asalaamu Alaikum.